so that's what it looks like two of these bags there we go i don't know hey guys welcome to today's video so today i'm going to be trying some vegan fast food so this is my last week at home before i go back to uni so i thought while i have a car today we're going to be going to mcdonald's kfc subway the whole shebang and basically just trying out some vegan fast food so all of these places have come out with like new things that are literally launched like five days ago for veganuary um so i thought i would just try them out see what they're like basically just like try them for you guys tell them tell you if they're good let's just get started so i need to go next door to mcdonald's because there was a big fat queue but I'm gonna drive over to McDonald's and then we're gonna get some food from McDonald's. This is so weird. Okay guys, so the lighting's a bit funky, but we're in the queue for McDonald's. So McDonald's have launched their like veggie dippers and they're kind of like a little breaded type, almost like a fish finger, but with vegetables in the middle. So we're gonna try that. I know they have it in, I think they do them in a wrap, but I just, just want the dipper. I also looked online and the ingredients for the apple pie is also vegan. So I think I'm gonna get that. I don't know, I'm kind of stressed out. I've literally never in my life been through a drive through Obviously in my life, but like not that I've driven. So I feel a bit like on edge right now. Plus I'm filming myself, which is nice and awkward, but I'm so glad that like these places are doing things for vegans because when i was a child i we went to mcdonald's kind of often like every few weeks i'd say and they didn't even have a vegetarian happy meal like i had a fish finger happy meal because i used to eat fish when i was like 10. I remember at the time thinking this is disgusting like it didn't even taste good obviously mcdonald's kfc like they're still not like brands you want to necessarily invest your money in in the grand scheme of things they're not contributing to like good but i kind of feel like at the same time i want to support that they're bringing out vegan things and you know there is a demand for it and if nobody if everyone boycotts these brands then like they're gonna stop doing vegan options and that overall is like worse we're the next in line i'm a bit stressed out what do i even say like oh i'm sitting here with the window open i'm freezing but i'm like awkwardly like one meter away from the speaker thing so it's like i can hear it but i can't hear it i don't really know what to do hopefully they can't hear me vlogging hello how can i help hi can i have the veggie dippers sorry the veggie dippers Veggie yeah. And can I also have an apple pie? Yeah, anything else? Just that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the guy said first window. Is that the first window I come to or one closer to the road? Oh, that's going to be really awkward if I go to the wrong one. Okay, I've worked it out. This one has a number two, so I need to go to the other one. I'm actually starving, so I hope I like some of this stuff. I literally cannot remember the last time I went to McDonald's, like genuinely. Yeah. Uh, can I have some ketchup? Thank you. You too. That's the good. So, we got the stuff. This was £4.18 all together. So these are the veggie dippers come in a nice little box and they say on top of them vegan approved from the vegetarian society which is nice obviously so that was a three pounds 19 for that which actually is kind of a lot okay so you get four in there i know if you get it in the happy meal you only get two and then i assume you get the chips as well so they kind of just look like these little nugget type things i'm gonna have it with ketchup just because i feel like that's how i would normally have something like this oh i'm kind of nervous Wow, that's actually exceeded my expectations. Okay, so in there there's like sweet corn, pepper, there's kind of like a paste sauce situation going on, which I actually think tastes good. Normally I don't like burgers or sausages or anything which is made of, I don't mind fake meat, but I really don't like when they put vegetables in it just because I feel like they're kind of soggy and not good, but that's actually a lot better. That's so much better than I was expecting. Okay, I think there's sun dried tomatoes in there. And there's like some herbs going on which is not bad mm. okay so we've got four of those i'm gonna leave the other three for if i'm hungry at the end but i know i'm going to a lot of places also all of my family's vegan and joe also loves vegan food so none of this is gonna go to waste and then we have the apple pie now i think this is like accidentally vegan if you go on the mcdonald's website you can look at all the ingredients and this is vegan but it isn't like labeled as it like the other thing is 
so this is what it looks like nice it's like very oily from the looks of it of it also i know i was meant to be giving up refined sugar but i'm just taking a, a day off for this video so i'm not too sure about this one mm. wow okay i kind of love that basically inside is like just kind of what you would expect like apple pieces in the sauce but there's quite a bit of cinnamon there and I actually quite like the cinnamon. I feel like that's like adding quite a lot to it. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> right. I'm gonna save the rest of that. Um McDonald's, my verdict is not bad, not half bad. So I the dippers, good. Nothing wrong with them. I feel like they taste pretty nice. I'd give them maybe a six out of ten just because it wasn't like I think I just had my expectations low. But they did taste nice, and if everyone I was with was going to McDonald's, I would get them and some chips, and I'd be happy. The apple pie, I'm going to give that a 9. That was great. Um, I would actually physically go back to get that, so great. And also, there aren't many vegan desserts in, like, fast food places, so I'm very impressed with that. I'm in the KFC car park right now, so I'm going to go into the drive through bit and get the vegan burger. I'm very excited. This is the one I'm most excited for because this is meant to, like, taste like chicken. So we'll see. Oh my god, I'm in loving this video so far this is literally like no content i've ever made before but fully am um, loving it so i'll see you at the drive through we're next in line kfc i'm excited they have a picture of it on the little board outside so they definitely have it i know there are some places they don't yeah they've also written on the board a heads up that their fries aren't vegan so if you're thinking of coming to uh, kfc you can't get the fries oh yeah hi can i just have the vegan burger yeah, anything else? Just that, please. Thank you, have a nice day. You too, bye. Easy, easy. I'm getting a bit of a pro at um, drive throughs So watch me go. I didn't even know this drive through was here. I thought I was going to have to park and like walk in, but turns out there's a drive through I've heard some people, like I saw Grace Beverly, um, she tried this and she said she really liked it and she's somebody who likes meat or like wishes she could eat meat but she's vegan for like the ethics and everything so the fact that she likes it and she likes meat makes me think that it's kind of gonna taste like meat obviously i don't know what it tastes like but if anything that kind of puts me off i really don't like the idea of eating meat like it's not like i want to eat it and i'm forcing myself not to i just really don't want to eat it i'm kind of apprehensive about this because like i don't know i don't i don't want to eat meat that's scary but the pictures look great i'm pretty sure they've got vegan mayo and really well done to them because they've like gone out and beyond the mcdonald's thing is much more just like it's just vegetables it's not even something special and the apple pie is just accidentally vegan so this one they've actually put in like a decent amount of effort I'm getting peckish i kind of want to dive back into the mcdonald's bag but i don't want to be full before we get to the end of the video let's go Ooh. oh my. i almost crashed there thank you have a nice day he definitely just saw the mcdonald's bag and was like right so you're healthy kfc up next so my car i look crazy right now i've got two of these bags but let's see box and then it has 11 herbs and spices zero chicken and then it says vegan on the side finger licking vegan until you add the non-vegan stuff obviously not sure what that's about so i'm not going to be doing that this is what it looks like so you have the bun the like patty type thing and then inside is the vegan mayo and there's a lettuce in there as well i do i like ketchup with this i still have my mcdonald's ketchup it's like quite big how much was this i think that this was 3.99 for just the burger and they don't have chips interesting so that's what it looks like in the middle it kind of does like if you've eaten corn before it's a corn patty and if you've eaten corn before it does kind of have a corn taste but i don't mind that the mayo is good um 10 out of 10 for the mayo i think that's like one of the best mayos i've had that's vegan um i'm gonna have a bit of ketchup on it i could definitely eat this whole thing i would get that again that's nice it tastes it does have like a corny taste and it's like very warm and nice but i wouldn't say it has like a distinct taste 
I feel like it's just overpowered with the mayo. Like there's so much mayo there. Like literally I feel like I'm eating mayo and it tastes so mayo-y. I don't know. Oh, this is so difficult. How can how I review this for you? I don't know. I like that better than the things from like the dippers from McDonald's. I would say if you prefer vegetable stuff to fake meat, you'd probably prefer the, veg the McDonald's thing. That wasn't bad. This is just kind of weird. Maybe if I had had chicken before, I'm gonna get Joe to taste this later and ask him if it tastes like chicken. It's same sort of thing. If all my friends were going to KFC, it was the only thing at like a service station or something, I get it and I would be happy. Like that's a nice meal. Obviously you don't get chips with it, but not bad. There's so much mayo in here. Like, is that not, like, do you not think that that's a lot of mayo? I just would never eat that much mayo. Okay, I'm gonna have one last bite before we head to Subway. I do like it, I just think that there isn't much flavour in it. Like, all I'm getting is like a warm corn taste, but like, just like a lot, like, it's not intense taste, it's just kind of, the things from McDonald's were like spicy, they had herbs, it was just more flavour, I feel. This tastes like mayo and corn. But at the same time, I could eat the whole thing, so I don't really know. It's quite Moorish. I'm gonna give this a six. Nah, do I want to give it a seven? Maybe a seven because I do. Th I don't think it tastes bad, but I think that it's like quite neutral. I would never crave that because it just doesn't have that much flavour, in my opinion. My car is gonna stink after all of this. I'm putting it back in the box now. So the last place that I want to go is Subway. We don't have a drive-through Subway here, so I'm gonna go park as close as I can get and then walk in. I know that they have a vegan sub, which they have had for a while and then they have just come out with a it's like meatball marinara type so it's like meatballs tomato sauce and vegan cheese which i thought was questionable that doesn't sound that appealing to me but it's new and i don't know might try it just to try it sort of thing so i think i'm gonna get that and then that's the last thing that i'm gonna be getting in this video so this has been so fun i need to do more stuff like this i feel like my videos are never like this so I'll see you in Subway. I got the meatless marinara marinara. Oh, it's cold. So this was £3.29. Also, you guys, I'm literally stuffed. I was walking and I was like, oh. Do you know when you're sitting down and you think you're not full and then you get up you're like, oh my god, I'm so full. So, not going to have much of this one, but that's fine. It's not going to go to waste. She gave it to me in a plastic bag and I didn't realise she was going to and then I took it out and gave it back to her. I was like, can you eat this? I don't want it. But she took it back, so that's good. Right, so you get to pick the bread. This is the right mess. Whatever bread you want. I got the one with the seeds in it. She basically did the vegan cheese, the meatballs in the sauce. And then she said like, what toppings do you want? I thought it was just that, like, cause in the picture that's what it looks like. But turns out you can actually do all the toppings like you normally do with Subway. I just got some lettuce cause I feel like I don't want to overdo it. So this is huge. I really don't want to clean that. There we go. That's what it looks like. I've dropped so much lettuce in my car now. I'm just going to try it before it all falls apart. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, actually pleasantly surprised by that. I'm so thirsty. Also, my mum got me this water bottle. How cool is this? You could open it at the bottom as well. So you can clean it properly. So clever. If you want to get one, it's made of like recycled materials and stuff. It's from this brand. S sweet sweat. Sweat, I think. I'm not sure how you say that, but. Okay, so this definitely tastes. This definitely tastes like if you were to buy like vegan meatballs in like Sainsbury's or something and then just add tomato sauce and some vegan cheese. Okay, so I got some of the cheese. Didn't mind that. That tastes pretty normal to me. Um, as in like doesn't taste too weird. How many meatballs do you get? I think you get like four meatballs and I got a six inch. Okay, I would rate that like six or seven. No, I'd give that probably a seven. That was better than the KFC burger, in my opinion. I just feel like, honestly, I would rather have a smoothie bowl or something than all of this stuff. I'm just not that into fast food. But for the most part, you know, just as like a general consensus, this isn't bad. If you like meatballs and stuff, I feel like this is actually really nice. Wouldn't be my top choice. I did also see that they did the vegan, the other vegan sub 
in salad form which i think i would get if i was in a subway that would probably be my favorite we like this this isn't too bad so that concludes this little video um i'm gonna say this was a pretty much a success i really liked everything some things more than others but for the most part the food was decent the only thing that i want to have another bite of is the apple pie everything else was like it was nice but i guess because i had i've just basically eaten like three sandwiches so i'm kind of sandwiched out but apple pie is really nice Hmm. i definitely recommend checking out these places and giving it a try for yourself if you've tried any of if you've tried any of this stuff please tell me what you thought i'm very intrigued to see if you liked it um i feel like mixed bag but for the most part i'm very glad that um these brands are like catching on and making vegan products so hopefully more people will be vegan lastly i know you've probably all heard and seen so much about the fires in australia but it's honestly absolutely heartbreaking and it's obviously so sad that that's happening and it's honestly so sad i saw a picture where it's kind of put like the amount of fire that's been burnt onto london so you it kind of just gives me more reference because like that's i know how big that is and stuff well when people show me pictures of australia i'm like i don't know how big it is whatever and there's so much land that's been destroyed and i think it's like half a billion animals have died which just breaks my heart um so so sad honestly it's these sort of things that make me so frustrated and upset and i just don't know to help really yeah i'm really upset about it but i'm gonna have links below i'm gonna have link one regular charity and one charity that's helping the animals so please if you can please go donate um even if you have done already i've done already but i'm gonna do another like even if you've donated to one of the charities already and you can afford to donate to a second one please do it um it's times like this i always kind of i feel like especially obviously it's amazing to help but just putting out that good energy into the world is never ever going to do you any harm so i would definitely do it and if you can't afford to donate um even the tiniest little bit then just please raise awareness post something on your instagram story like do whatever you can i guess so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i actually had a really fun time filming it and i love you all so so much and subscribe if you haven't already i post video every sunday so i will see you guys next week bye Inside.